Question 3. Expand and simplify. 2x squared y to the power of 7 to the power of 3. Or just cube. So now we need to cube everything within the parentheses. So we have 2 cubed, which is just 8. x squared cubed. We're just going to need to multiply the 2 by the 3. We get x to the power of 6. And y to the power of 7 cubed is y to the power of 21. 7 times 3 is 21, of course. All over x to the power of 8 and y to the power of 9. Excellent. So we have the 8. Now x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 8 is just equivalent to x to the power of 6 minus 8. And over here we can do the same thing with the y. 21 minus 9 for the exponent. Since every time we are dividing the same base, we subtract the exponents. So here we have 8x to the power of negative 2, because 6 minus 8 is negative 2, times y to the power of 12, because 21 minus 9 is 12. And right now, we, we're almost done. We just want uh, to get rid of all negative exponents, usually. So what I'll do, that so far we just have a 1 down below. We always do, but sometimes it's just hidden and we don't show it. So what I'll do is that I will send the x to the power of negative 2 down to the bottom, thereby making the exponent positive. We can always do that. So we have 1 times x squared, and I'll just rewrite everything as 8y to the power of 12 over x squared. That's it. Fantastic. Let's do question 4 now. Expand and simplify. Same general idea. So a to the power of 4 to the power of negative 2 will be just a to the power of negative 8. Since 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. b to the power of negative 3 to the power of negative 2 will be b to the power of positive 6. Since negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. All over a to the power of negative 3 and b to the power of 4. Fantastic. Now we can just subtract these. So I'll combine them. I'll make it a to the power of negative 8 minus negative 3. If we're if we're dividing, we just subtract the exponents and we're multiplying that by b to the power of 6 minus 4. Okay, so now we're subtracting a negative that's equivalent to adding. So negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Times b to the power of the b's look like my 6's. Hopefully nobody gets confused. That's a b. 6 minus 4 is 2. So b squared. Okay, we're almost done. Remember that we have a hidden 1 down at the bottom here. So what I'll do is that I will now just send the a to the power of negative 5 down below. Why is that? Because I want to change this exponent from negative to positive. So we have a to the power of positive 5. So the final answer would be b squared over a to the power of 5. We don't really need to show the 1. Just put it there to remind everyone that this can also be written as a fraction. So here we go, b squared over 8 to the power 